Hey guys, if you're watching the replay, just skip like 30 seconds while I wait for a couple of people to pop in. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. What's up guys? Jamie here, personal trainer and nutritionist with a huge focus on sustainability and lifestyle balance. And I need to talk to you today. <laughs> Um, I asked you guys a question recently in the group. I said, what do you guys need? What is keeping you stuck? And let me create lives to help you solve it. And a couple of people talked about prioritizing. How do I prioritize these things? How do I fit it into my busy lifestyle? How do I make this happen? And to be honest with you, I sat with these ones for a while. I kind of compiled them. And I was thinking about all these different strategies. And this morning, uh, some words just came to me. So I'm going to deliver that for you today. Okay. Um, the very first thing I want to say is you have to decide what this means to you. You are the only one that knows your life. You are the only one that knows your limitations, your strengths, your stresses, your lifestyle, right? And you have to decide what this means to you and you have to be realistic. And ultimately, you have to decide that there is literally no other option. And you have to not just decide that on a conscious level, but you have to let that sit internally and in your subconscious, okay? I like to use the example, if you guys were here for the live with Michael Barfield the other day, of a, uh, an example that I saw in a book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. And he talked about the idea that if there's an individual that wants to encourage somebody else to smoke a cigarette with them, because everybody enjoys doing something with somebody else, right? That is just human nature. And if there's an individual that wants to smoke a cigarette and he wants to feel less guilty about smoking a cigarette, and so he offers a cigarette to two guys sitting there, there are two responses that these people give to him when he offers them a cigarette, okay? Person number one, when... Uh, the guy offers him a cigarette, says, no thanks, I'm trying to quit. Person number two, when offered a cigarette, says, no thanks, I'm not a smoker. Which one is more likely to be talked into taking a cigarette? And which one is more likely to, for the other person, the original person, to try to convince to take a cigarette, right? Now, obviously, this isn't a super likely scenario. Is there anybody out there that's going to pressure you into taking a cigarette? No. But the point is, person number one projected this idea that he is trying to quit. He hasn't fully accepted that he is a non-cigarette smoker yet. He is on the path of trying to quit. And this person is much more likely to fuck up, spin their wheels, smoke a couple cigarettes here and there. Person number two is probably just as likely to fuck up, smoke a couple of cigarettes here and there on his road to becoming a non-smoker, but he has already, he or she has already accepted that they are a non-cigarette smoker. And that is going to be the difference between person B's success and person A's success. Okay. And this is an amazing example for this idea that you have to decide that there is no other option, that that is who you are, and you are going to figure it out one way or another, period. No matter how often you fuck up, no matter how often you fall off the train or eat the food you didn't want to or skip the workout you really wanted to do, it is there is no other option for you. OK, and that is how ultimately you prioritize this lifestyle is by accepting that it is who you are and you have to do that in order to move forward. Now, another example that I like to see, I don't like to use it necessarily, but I do see it and it does resonate with people is the idea of like taking a shower every other day or taking a shower every day. You don't just skip the showers. You just do them. Now, I understand that a shower is more like a 15 to 20 minute commitment versus eating healthy and exercising is a bigger commitment than that, but it has to be in the same vein of something that if you don't do, it does not feel right. And it takes work to get there. It takes implementing the habit to get there. My kids could go weeks without a shower if I didn't push them to do it. Not really. My daughter's starting to get to the point where she'll start to have that kind of feeling. And she's like, I think I want to take a shower. But she's eight. It took her eight years to get there. She's almost nine. She'll be nine in a couple of weeks. It took her nine years to get to that point. 
It's not going to take nine years for you guys because she's a child, but it's the general idea that you have to drill those habits into your kids. You have to drill it in that they need to brush their teeth twice a day. You need to drill into their head. They need to shower every other day and they don't want to, they're resistant to it. It's a new pattern. It's a new path in their brain that they have to build. They have to trek. Okay. And you have to form that pathway in your own life and in your own brain and in your own ha habits and lifestyle. Okay. And that is how you prioritize it. Now, obviously, so one of the, the, the more specific things that somebody mentioned they needed help with is this idea of meal prepping and making meals. And when do I have the time and how do I prioritize it? Look, make a list of staples and eat simple, eat nothing but those boring ass staples until you can build up from there. I know you don't have time to meal prep. I know you don't have time to plan all this out. So buy a pack of tilapia, buy frozen vegetable mixtures with the fun little flavors in them and buy some packs of whole grain, right? Uh, whole grains, quinoa, rice, whatever that are already prepped in the packages and eat nothing but that for dinner for it, for the next three weeks for all I care but do it anyway. And when you get bored, <laughs> when you get bored of that stuff, start spicing it up, but you don't have to go all in creating all of these massive, crazy recipes. You don't have to go in on a Sunday and meal prep your, you know, your entire week. You don't have to do all of that, but you do have to set a limit that this is what you do and what you prioritize. Okay. Build up slowly, start simple and build up slowly. It doesn't have to be all at once. In fact, it shouldn't be all at once because most things that are done all at once uh, don't last. Okay. They're, they're not sustainable. And the same is true for exercise. You don't have to go from doing nothing, wondering where the heck in your day, you're going to find time to doing five days a week in the gym. Okay. You don't have to do four days a week in the gym. You don't have to do three, two will suffice. The goal is not to change your body in three weeks. The goal is to build the habit and the process so that this becomes part of who you are so that you can sustain it long-term because that's the ultimate goal. I talk to people all the time that are like, I want to, I want to lose weight. Okay. Why? You know, I was, why, why do you want to lose weight? Because, and it always links to, I want to be this type of person that feels good in their skin, feels confident, is strong, has this as part of the routine. It starts here. Okay. It's not all about getting that weight off really quickly. It starts with building that routine. Okay. Now I know some of you are already in the routine and you still feel like you struggle, um, maximizing that routine, right? Now I'll be honest. I talk to way too many people who are stuck in this loop. So you can tell me if this is you, you're stuck in the loop where you're unsure about nutrition. Okay. You're feeling guilty. Every time you go out to eat, maybe you feel like you do really, really well during the week, but then on the weekends you fuck it all up because you go out to eat or you enjoy some drinks or you have this very rich social life and you just kind of let loose and you overdo it and you feel guilty about that. And that leads you to try this restriction thing again. And you're stuck in that loop. Okay. I talk to people all the time who feel like exercise is the thing they need to do and they need to do it really consistently and they need to do it really intensely um, in a way that gets them the biggest burn and the most sweat possible. And then adding more on top of that when they're not seeing, res seeing results or they're feeling frustrated about their weekend kind of overdoing it. Okay. I talk to people all the time who are messing around in the gym, loosely following a program or loosely following some workouts, but not really knowing if their form is right. Not really knowing what the fuck they're doing. Sorry, I'm cussing a lot today. They're just kind of dicking around in there, you know, people that wish they could have the confidence with barbells. They wish they could walk into the, the men's section of the, of the weight room and pick up the, 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 the dumbbells and the barbells with confidence, know what they're doing, wish they had the confidence to wear that crop top or eat the pizza or drink the wine and not feel guilty about it, but they're spinning their damn wheels. Okay. Now, listen, listen close to this. You are not going to get out of this cycle if you don't do something different than what you've always done. I'll say that again. You are not going to get out of this cycle if you don't do something different than what you've always done. You need to stop quitting and starting again. You need to expect imperfection and fuck ups because that's part of the process. We talked about that with Michael the other day too. It is part of the process. You are not going to be perfect from day one. Even if you go out the gate perfect, a lot of people are perfect out the gate, 
right? Your motivation is high. You, you're, you're spinning on all cylinders and then you get tired of all of that stuff and it starts to drain you. And then that's when you're challenged. That's when you have to say, all right, motivation's low. That was exhausting, but you don't just drop the ball. Okay. You need to step it up. Otherwise it's going to take five times as long. 80, 20 rule or 85, 15 rule and enjoy life. That's me. Just keep going. Yep. Absolutely. And all these people I've, I've been having so many conversations this week of people who are so hesitant to invest in coaching when I'm telling you right now, the value that you get working with us is unbeatable. The prices that you will pay to go hire a personal trainer in a gym who guaranteed you have a 50% chance of getting a shitty one, okay? <laughs> one that does not know what they're doing, what does not know how to deadlift. 75% chance you're not going to get any support outside of those singular sessions. But the money you will pay to hire a personal trainer, the money you will pay to go hire a dietitian or a nutrition coach, you get all of that in our community. You get all you get a community with it as well. You get um, an entire library of recipes and meal plans and all of the things you need. And people are so hesitant, and it's because they're scared of doing something that they've never done before, but yet they're still spinning their wheels. This took me over a decade to get out of on my own. Man, do I wish I could have just hired somebody at the beginning of this. I wish this was a thing. I wish I knew this was a thing because I spent way too many years doing all of the things I just said above. And we don't want you to spend that many years because honestly, we're in a stage right now too in our lives because most of us are in a very similar age range. So 10, 20 years ago, maybe I had the 10 years to spare on figuring this all out. I don't have those 10 years to spare figuring this all out at this point. If I was starting at the point of, of the, some of the people I'm talking to, if I was starting there, I'd be close to 50 by the time I figured it out. That is too late. <laughs> it's not too late, but it is too late for me because I don't want to do that. Think about where you are right now. Do you want to spend another five years spinning your wheels? Do you want to spend another 10 years spinning your wheels? Because that's how long it's going to take if you don't do something different than what you've always done. Okay. That's my spiel for today. So on the overall topic, if you joined in late, please go watch, uh, go back and watch the beginning. The overall topic here is um, prioritizing. How do I prioritize? And I could go into the, I, you know, to be honest, I could go into the weeds right now and I could give you all of these little ideas. And that's what I started to do. I started to, when I was planning this out, I started going into the weeds on all these little things I could do to help you figure out how to prioritize fitness and figure out how to prioritize, uh, meal planning and, um, all of this stuff. But the reality is you don't need all of those little things right now. You need the big picture. You need the big picture of, you need to decide that this is what you're going to do and that there is no other option. And once you have accepted that, that's when things will change. Once you have accepted that this is what you will do, that's when things will change. And it doesn't have to look the same for everybody. Like I said, you can do, you don't have to get into a gym. You can do a body weight routine twice a week in your house if you want to for 30 minutes a day. If that's better than where you're at now, or if that's what you can fit in now with the way your lifestyle is, and you can do that consistently for weeks on end, that's huge. And then you can build up from there. Okay. I go through weeks where I can't think straight and then five o'clock rolls around and I'm like, crap, I'm supposed to think about dinner. I preach to my group that meal plan on Sundays. I did not do that. And I don't know what we're going to eat. Well, guess what? I have put in the work that I have a repertoire of maybe sometimes boring ass stuff, but I've got it ready. Or if I need to run to the grocery store, I know exactly what to grab. And we can still have a highly nutritious, high protein meal that fits in the plan, even if I'm not planning. And you need to get to that point so that this doesn't feel so difficult. Okay. Diane says, I did gym trainers. Steven left the gym to start his own business and I stayed with him. He is the male you. <laughs> I love that. Who is, who is Steven? That is, um, is he a trainer at the gym? He said, I needed to hear this. I'm glad. This is a lot of you. If you're resonating with this right now, that is awesome. Um, and I love that you're telling me that. 
but this, a lot of people who are not telling me that right now, it is resonating with them as well. And you need to, yeah. And it's Friday. So it's a great day to take a stand. Awesome guys. As always, if you want the guesswork taken out of this for you, if you want to commit to not spending the next five to 10 years spinning your wheels, then shoot me a DM. We'd be happy to talk about how our coaching can help you get out of this rut. We design custom training programs for our clients, no matter where you are in life, whether you need to work out at home, whether you want access to a, have access to a gym and want a gym routine, whether you have two days a week to exercise or five, we give you the kick of the pants. We make sure your program is designed to meet you where you are. And we do the same with your nutrition. Where are you currently and where do you need to level up? And then we make sure you do that because knowledge is great. And you guys can get all the knowledge you need in this group. We give you so many dang free resources. We give you recipes and, and trainings and programs. You have all the knowledge you need, but knowledge is nothing without application. Okay. And you need the application piece. So if you want the guesswork taken out of it, if you want that support, shoot me a DM. There's no obligation by shooting me a DM. It's just, you know, how can we, how can we help? How can we talk about this and see if it would be a good fit for you, but do something. Do something to get out of the rut that you're in, okay? My trainer in Connecticut, he says things and I listen. <laughs> listen to the, you saying the same stuff. That's awesome. All right, guys, happy Friday. If you have any questions or comments or anything you want to contribute, please comment below and have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys very soon. Macro-specific menus, yes. Yep. We just started so any, any clients that are watching this currently, <laughs> all new clients that are onboarding. If you're a client that is not brand new, just message me. I'm not going to leave you hanging, but all new clients that sign up with us. We started this last month, um, get access to literally a macro, um, macro based meal plans. So they're not specific necessarily to your exact macros, but all of the recipes that you have access to, um, they all have macro counts to them. They are all like amazing. Like this week I made it's outsourced. It's not ours. So I, we outsourced it so that we could uh, provide this to our clients, but it's literally like meal plans that give you, there's a 1500 calorie meal plan, a 1600, a 1700, a 2000. And it just kind of gives you a base idea of how you could utilize all of the recipes that we already have. So I made one last week that was like this creamy salsa crock pot chicken. It's like this giant serving for like 30 to four, I think it's like 40, 39 grams of protein, almost 40 grams of protein fills me up for hours. So really easy recipes that are super budget friendly. So the focus of all of these recipes is budget friendly and, um, macros are all listed and like delicious. So it's like French toast casserole and like lasagna and banana pudding. And they're all high protein and they're all designed with like the macro tracker in mind. Um, a lot of them are already in my fitness pal. So if you just type up like the name of the thing with the, um, who we're outsourcing it from, it all pops up in there. So it makes it, it makes it just, it's such a great resource to have. Um, and it just makes it easier. You know what I mean? To have all of that stuff. So yes, it is Zach Cohen. You guys are awesome. Um, I don't, who are you? Cause it just says Facebook user. It's Zach Cohen. We give you access. We literally sign you up for a year membership to his entire library. If you are interested in training with us and getting all of this stuff, please just shoot me a DM. I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. Happy, happy, happy. Okay. Now it's goodbye. <laughs> happy. Um, happy Friday. <laughs> Sorry. Happy Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Don't feel guilty about having that glass of wine tonight. Cause I know I'm not going to, and don't feel guilty about the pizza night that you're going to have tonight. Cause I know I'm not going to, um, and just figure out how important this is to you and really be real with yourself. That's my biggest message today. All right. Peace guys. Talk soon.